Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today we're going to do an updated version of Snow White. We're going to be using a single loom, it's going to be in the offset position and you're going to have the arrows facing towards you. Offset position means that columns 1 and 3 are going to be slightly lower than column 2. Double banding, which means we take two bands and we place them over the pegs together. As I said, the arrows are facing towards you. If you don't have arrows, it's the open part of the peg that faces towards you. So we're going to get started, and the colours that you're going to need are black and skin tone, blue, red, oh, too red, <laughs> and some yellow. Move to some skin tone. You're also going to need two mini pony beads for her eyes. I'm going to take a single flesh tone and stretch it out and place it over these three pegs here. And then across the eye area, I'm going to take a single band and I'm going to twist it three times once, twice, three times and place it over these two pegs where we're going to put the eyes. Now, as I said, the eyes are going to be two little mini pony beads and I'm going to place them on my metal hook and thread them through the band. Now you can use whatever method you normally thread beads with. If you don't use beads, by all means, do the band method. That works too. One of the things we need to do is split this band that has the beads on so that one side of the band goes over that peg and the other goes underneath it. And that sort of gives this a um, crossover band feel to it. Next we're going to use three bands for her neck and throat area and then we're going to use, oh, that's very stretched out, let's choose a new one, for her chest and her shoulders. So, okay, now I'm going to move to some blue for her dress. So again, double banding, and we'll put the blue bands here. Now for her arms, we're going to take a single peach tone band, peach tone, flesh tone, wrap it around your hook once, twice and three times and you're going to slide that onto a pair of flesh tone bands like that and then reclaim the end of your bands. Do that again to another pair, slide them all over onto it and reclaim the end of your bands and one more time so you have three pair of flesh tone there now we're going to take one red and two blue and you're going to put it blue red blue like this onto your hook slide your flesh tone bands onto it spread them out evenly and recapture the end of your bands in the same order so that you're still red, blue, red, blue. Okay, that one's being silly. And then you're going to slide that onto a pair of blue 
and you're going to try and keep the same order like that and that's going to be her little puffy sleeve that we put on her shoulder here we're going to do the same again so take a flesh tone band wrap it once twice three times and then slide that onto a pair of flesh another pair of flesh and one more pair of flesh then we're going to do our little red blue red blue trick or blue <laughs> blue red blue I should say okay keeping the red in the middle line them up slide your flesh tone bands on reclaim your bands make sure that they're in the right order mine have got higgledy piggledy but that's fine there we go and slide those onto a pair of blue and we will put that on her other shoulder right here like that okay so now we're going to move to yellow bands and we're still double banding and we will place these here now please do not fret all will become clear soon <laughs> so we'll place our yellow bands And now we're going to move to flesh tone for her legs. And from here we're going to do shoes so we're going to take two black bands oops I've got three there two black bands put them through your hook wrap once and twice and we're going to slide those onto two black bands like that reclaim the end of your bands onto your hook and let's take another two black bands and wrap them once and twice and we're going to move those onto a pair of flesh tone now the first one that we did we're going to take this side here that's closest to the end of the hook up over and off and onto those flesh tone bands take the flesh off the hook and switch sides so the other side of flesh tone bands are on there and move those other black bands up and off so all the black bands are now on these two flesh tone bands reclaim the end and angle it and there you have a little shoe and we will pop that on the end of her foot just there let's do the same again so we're going to take two black bands wrap once and twice slide onto two black bands reclaim the end of your band two black bands wrap once, wrap twice, slide on to two flesh tone, move these up and over onto the flesh tone bands and then swap sides with the flesh tone band and move those ones on, reclaim the end of your flesh tone bands, angle the shoe so it's pointing the opposite way and slide onto her leg we're going to do some crossover bands so a single band and you're going to spread it over these three pegs in the shape of a triangle and lift this part of the band up and over this last peg here we're going to put another crossover band over these three pegs in the shape of a triangle and here we're going to do a single band but we're going to take it and do a figure eight loop it on itself and place that across those three the same for the spot above it single band loop it on itself 
and place above. And then across there, we'll just take one, and we're not looping that one. It's going to stay the same. Okay, we're going to do some hair. Take a single band, wrap your hook around it once and twice, and then take a pair of bands, black, and slide that on. Reclaim the end of your bands. Take another pair, and we're sliding on and reclaiming. This is going to go here. So move those onto the same peg that her eyes are on and then push your hook through where the end cap is, spread that out and place it over the band where her jaw is. Okay, now we're going to do that on the other side as well. Take a single band, wrap it once and twice, double band, slide it on and reclaim another double band slide it on and reclaim and we're going to place that on this band this peg here opposite her eyes and again poke your hook through where the end cap is stretch it out and that is going to go on the peg by her jaw all right like that. So we have hair extension, eyes, crossover band, crossover band, crossover band and shoes and arms. We're going to loom up. Pull the foot down and you're going to start looming her leg. And you're going to loom this all the way to the top to her arm here okay like that let's do the other side can you see what I'm doing push the crossover bands back with the back of your hook and just keep looming up And now the middle row, column, gosh, anyone would think I don't know the difference between a column and a row, and I promise I do. <laughs> okay, loom that up, dig down through the arms and find the um, skin tone bands. There we go, push that down, make a bit of room. Dig down to find those three skin tone bands. Loom up. Now we're going to loom to the side. And to the other side. We're going to take the hair off and move it to one side. And dig down and find the two skin tone bands. And then replace the hair. And then let's dig down and lock this hair into place by finding the two black bands and looming up. We'll do the same on the other side. Take the black bands off and hold them out to the side. Dig down, find the two beige bands and loom up. Grab your hair back onto your hook and we'll replace those there. Now loom your two black bands up and now we can loom the center of our face up like so grab two black bands to tie it off with push your hook down the middle here and out through the side grab those two black bands and pull them through that center peg up to the back of it and reclaim your bands. Then take the two closest to you up, over and off and pull tight. She's ready for us to take off the loom. So we're just going to ease her off.
stretch her out. Okay. Now, you probably think I'm a bit crazy for not having a skirt on her. Well, the reason behind it is we're going to make a little skirt on our monster tail to fit on her so that she can actually take her skirt on and off. You can swap it for a different coloured skirt if you choose to. Um, but this will be the skirt that we're going to make. Okay, so there's her little eyes. We're going to hide this loop at the back of her head. So just move those behind a couple of the bands at the back here. So there we go. And let's make our yellow um, little skirt. If you don't have a monster tail, you can actually do it on your loom. And I will show you how. What you're going to do is using your tool, take the middle piece out, the base, the middle base out and then take the middle column out and turn one column the other way like that okay and you would effectively use it like that all right now obviously it stretches a bit more over here but you get the same idea if you're using the monster tail we're going to start by taking a single band and you put it on your monster tail and you twist it so it's a little figure eight and uh, you always start with a figure eight at the bottom like this I believe to uh, keep it in place and I have to admit I have done absolutely nothing with the monster tail other than this sort of thing um, I'm pretty sure that it's more for bracelet makers rather than people that do figures but it seems perfect to do skirts and, and that's why I bought mine. So we have the little layer of yellow. I'm now going to do a layer of white because I think that just gives it a bit of an offset. And one of the things that I have learnt Let's try right-handed, Kate, seeing as you are right-handed. One of the things that I've learnt about this little monster tail is the lip of the peg is not very big. And so you have to be quite careful because the bands just have a mind of their own and like to pop off. So uh, I have to say it's, it's not my favourite product. <laughs> but... Uh, it has its place I guess and now another layer of yellow and as you can see I'm not twisting these these I'm just placing on I used to have a little uh, knitting Nancy I think it was called which was similar to this except it was a little doll's head with eight nails sticking out of it and that's what we used to do this on. So grabbing your hook, and I do quite like the um, rainbow loom hook for this. It seems to grab these quite well. I find it a bit grabby for some stuff, but you need it to be grabby for these. And we're just going to go around and take the two bottom yellow ones off. And it seems that when you do this, all you do is take the two bottom ones off. So you want to try and make sure you don't mix up the order that you have, which when you're working in a whole bunch of yellow is quite difficult. So we've taken the bottom yellow off. We're now going to replace another layer, and it's going to be, fancy that, yellow. 
and you want to do about 16 of these so if you consider this is three and now we take the white the two white up over and off and push everything down so it doesn't you don't lose your bands Those are the bottom two, they were white. Push everything down. Let's do another layer of yellow. This will be four. Now, if you would like to pause the video and get back to me when we're at 16, I will catch you then. So, we're now um, at the level where we want to try and take this off our little monster tail we have four bands on each so we're going to dig down and take two off so that we're left with two bands on each And now we're going to get a hook and we will take each of these two off and put them on our hook. Careful not to drop any. Like that, slide it out of the monster tail. We're going to get two bands. I'm going to tie them in a knot. So take two bands, cross them over like this, pull one through the other like that. Oh, two bands like this. And they're jelly bands, so they come undone nice and easy. There we go. All right, let's thread all of these bands onto those bands and be careful that you don't let go or make this too slack because they will fall off okay when you've done when you've threaded them all on get the end of this band and let's just at least make it a bit secure by tying it like so so to actually squeeze her into the little uh, skirt I'm going to employ the help of a spoon. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do, make sure that I have this little loop at the back and I'm going to slide the dress onto the spoon. Okay, now, I mean, be mindful of the fact that bands stretch. This should be fine. Get it about halfway down the spoon so that you can slide her little feet into the bed of the spoon like this okay so she's sitting in the spoon like that and then you're slowly going to ease the skirt back up over her and pushing her down if you need to now her feet will come out the end you don't need to worry about that move the skirt up over her like that and then if you need to roll it up at the bottom, you can poke her feet out the end. Like so. Straighten it up. Now at the back here, if you are deciding that you're going to be changing her outfit often, you don't need to uh, tie it up. You could basically just put your hook up the back here 
and grab that band and pull it down if you're just going to be playing with the doll like that um, there's quite enough space on the back of it to maybe not unravel if you're wanting the doll to stand up push her feet inside her dress and uh, she will stand up quite nicely for you as you can see um, yeah so that's how we get the skirt on like that I'm going to put um, a little bow in her hair a little red she wears a red headband so I'm going to take a single band move my spoon out of the way <laughs> and just going through some of her hair bands up the top here I'm going to drag that red band through I'm going to hold one end I'm useless at tying knots so I'm going to use my hook to help me I'm going to tie a knot in the bow like that in the bow in the band like that to form the little bow and there we have a standing upright Snow White thanks for watching I hope you enjoy making yours take care